Oh, I am so tired from doing chores all day long. Thank goodness I have a new bed to climb into. Hello everyone, this is Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal, and welcome back to my channel. I have my daughter here with me today. Hi! And together we're going to show you our brand new Ashlyn Ella doll bed. Yay! That we, that we have just finished remaking. As you can see, Ashlyn Ella's new bed features a fireplace headboard because her mother, Cinderella, wants her to get used to sleeping in front of the hearth. Now before we show you how we made the new bed, let's show you the old bed. Mmm, I don't like it. You don't like it anymore, honey? Well, we liked it when we first made it, but now we're bored with it, right? Yeah. All right, so I took it apart into this pile of mess, mostly because I wanted to save the smooth foam block, and that way I could use it to create a higher bed for Ashlyn Ella. So the bed really revolves around this amazing piece of fabric that I got off of Spoonflower.com. It features a fairy tale terrarium of the Cinderella story, and I thought the girl looked so much like Ashlyn, and the colors were so perfect for Ashlyn that this absolutely just had to be Ashlyn Ella's blanket. I will not be able to create a footboard for the bed though because the blanket is really long and I don't want to really cut it anywhere. I want the full thing to show. It's so perfect for Ashlyn. I'm glad you think so, honey. I think so too. And then also on Spoonflower.com, someone actually took Ashlyn's dress and created a print fabric out of it. So I bought that too. What? So using this Ashlyn's Posies fabric, I hot glued it to one of the smooth foam blocks to serve as her top mattress. And I also got this canister of trims that I thought had particularly good colors for Ashlyn. And I will be using the turquoise slash teal looking trim to serve as a bed skirt. I'll be hot gluing that to the bottom smooth foam block. And then to create less stark separation between top and bottom, I'm adding that gold braid, which I think goes nicely with Ashlyn. And then I'll be creating a bed base using this smooth foam sheet and using some of the fabric I used in the first Ashlyn bed, which I still had, I will be hot gluing that around the smooth foam sheet to create her bed base. But because the base still looks a little plain, I'll be adding some of this gold royalty trim around the base. I like how you did it so far. And thanks, honey. And I've now done that, and I'll be hot gluing the new bed that um, that is higher now to the bed base. Okay, so as for this beautiful Ashlyn blanket, I've cut it down to size and hot glued the top and bottom pieces under um, for a smoother edge. And then I'll be adding this trim um, to either side just to give it a less frayed look. And then I also added some gold trim because I thought there wasn't enough gold in the blanket after all, because Ashlyn does have quite a bit of gold in her. To create Ashlyn's pillow, I cut out a rectangle of her pink posies fabric, and I will be trimming it with this beautiful teal colored accordion ribbon. And as you can see, I've done that here. And I've also now added some more gold ribbon as an additional trim. Now I'll be folding it over and hot gluing this edge and hot gluing one other edge and stuffing it with cotton balls. As for her headboard, I wanted to create a fireplace headboard because she does have to get used to sleeping in front of the fireplace. She's gonna be covered with ashes and she just needs to get used to it. So I painted it a pink and gold. Then I took the poles from her previous bed, removed the hot glue with lemon essential oil, and now I'm ready to create her headboard by hot gluing the fireplace to the two poles and inserting the two poles into the bed base. And so that is what I've done, and now I'm ready to decorate the mantle. And these are some velvet plush pumpkins that I bought off of Etsy. Etsy. They're really soft. Yeah, they are. And these are some clocks I bought off of eBay. Because Ashlyn can't have too many clocks, right? Yeah. And then these brooms 
are the brooms my daughter suggested. Those were my idea. They sure were, and that was a brilliant idea, honey. Okay, so what we've done is now hot glued the pumpkins, because you can never have too many pumpkins when you're the daughter of Cinderella, and the clocks to the top of the fireplace, to the mantle. I also have these wonderful um, glass slipper beads that I got off of a store on Etsy. And these are branches that I painted from a kit called Birds and Branches from Hobby Lobby. And that's one of the birds. And I'm gonna use these to decorate the end of her bed. So I cut the fabric from her old bed into four long strips and hot glued them over these branches like so. And I will also be adding the bird on top of the branch at some point. So here I've hot glued, sorry about the mess in the background by the way. I've hot glued the glass slipper beads to the tops of the poles and now I've hot glued the bird and the branch and the and the curtains. I'll be using these spare parts tassels to hold apart the curtains and I also hot glued the other brown branches I painted but I forgot to take footage to the fronts of the poles at the end of the bed which I think you'll be able to see um, right here. See those? I also tied curtains around those. Okay, so now let's finish off this bed by putting on the pillow and now the blanket and let's add a pumpkin pillow. And here's a side view of the bed. And here's Ashlyn next to her brand new bed with a fireplace headboard. All right, so what do you guys think of the new bed? Do you like it? And while you're thinking about it, let's do some shout outs to Melody Piper and Ava Mixon. Thank you guys so much for being patient. For everyone else, I wanna thank you for watching my videos and for all of your kind encouragement and support. It means so much. Thanks so much for watching.